Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for action to resume here at Richmond Coliseum, making his way to the Draka Cage, Maxim Stefanko. Maxim has had marginal success in MMA with a 3-3 three and three record, but he's had tremendous success in other combat sports. He's been a Russian Sambo champion, a kickboxing champion in Siberia and the Far East. Uh, and as we know of Russian fighters, they are uh, tough as nails. Uh, actually has a decision loss to Alexander Matmuratov, who we'll see in the next fight. So uh, these guys have been here for a few days getting acclimated to America, and they are ready to, to battle. Cannot wait. Looking forward to it. One thing I admire about a lot of Russian pros is their demeanor inside the cage. Calm, cool, collected, unshakable. They do not rattle. Who knows? Maybe they all take it from Fedor or both the Emelianenko brothers who just have no change of expression no matter what seems to be happening in the cage. It's something I admire about it's, it's a culture. lot of Russian fighters. Yep, and you said it perfectly. Uh, Fedor Emelianenko, one of the uh, stone-cold... Uh, faceless fighters of all time. He would come to the ring looking upset, grumpy, go in, knock somebody out, go home. Same expression. Never rattles. And, and that's that's Russians. They're strong. They're tough. They're proud. And have a huge, a wonderful history in the fight. And game. his opponent, Jeremy Carper. Yeah, Carper's another guy I've, I've been following almost his entire career. One of my uh, favorite guys to watch fight. He starred in MMA, he starred and succeeded in Muay Thai, kickboxing. He brings that Muay Thai style to the MMA cage. Don't be fooled though, fans, he does have several wins by submission. Guys think they can take him down, they think he's just a stand-up fighter. He's not. He will get you if you take it to the ground. Very dangerous fighter, Jeremy Carper, in his last professional fight. Retirement fight for Carper. Retirement fight for Carper. It's been a long career. He said, I'm 35 years old. I really, you know, my joy is, is with training my guys. You know, I find it harder and harder to cut weight every time. It takes more of a toll on his body. And, uh, you know, he just loves teaching and pushing his guys to the level of success that he has had. In well, I mean, what a source of experience. What a source of knowledge for his students. And here's a guy, one of the fun things to watch Jeremy Carper do is his leg kicks and his weight tie kicks which could cover this entire cage sometimes, it seems like. The whole radius of his kick. It's gonna be a fun one. The following bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Draco Rules Lightweight Division. Introducing first, the man standing to my right, fighting out of Russia, Maxim Stepenko! His opponent stands across the cage to my left and fights out of the red corner. Jeremy Harper! Your referee, Scott Howard. Mike Markham, the best in the business. And of course, Ryan, another one of those aphorisms, styles make fights. What do we need to see, to see from Stepenko? to counter all the things that we know Carper's good at. Well, here's what we've got, Jay. We've got two guys. One's a kickboxing champion. One's a Muay Thai fighter. Um, the, the difference between these two fighters could potentially be the Sambo or Stepenko. If he's able to get it to the ground, what he can do on the ground. And again, as I said, Carper's very tricky on the ground. He can get you in a guillotine or anything very quickly. So this should be a great match. There's two huge leg kicks from Carper. One of his kicks, Stepenko to the ground. Carper trying to work to free his hands, work on ground and pound. Stepenko doing a good job. Oh, now eating a few, but doing a pretty good job of defending from those Carper bombs on the ground. Carper looking ferocious right in front of our broadcast position. Fighting like it's his last fight, Jay. And inviting Stepenko back up onto his feet. Those patented Carper leg kicks. Oh, beautiful spinning mid kick. Jay, this is a j different Jeremy Carper than I've seen in a long time. He is focused. He is driven. He is running the thunder to Stepenko. And he does not look like a fighter who's about to retire, does he? He looks like a fighter who's just getting warmed up. Stepenko working some good, dirty boxing inside early. 
Good control by Carper as he was looking for that single, uh, double leg. Controlling this fight against the cage is Carper. Nice knee to the midsection oh. by Jeremy. Again, though, Stepenko, as we as we alluded to earlier, not panicking. Just fighting no, Kong Ku collected, landed, landed a serious blow. Looked like a short hand, and changed the entire complexion of this fight just like that. A body shot to Carper that doubled him over, and Maxime Stepenko is wondering what the big deal was. A vicious body blow. Hopefully we will see it on the replay because all the action took place right in front of our broadcast position, but it was difficult to see. Carper absolutely had the upper hand, but a big body blow from Stepenko changes the entire fight. And we're going to see it again here in the replay. Let's see. Oh, that short. Left hand from Shepenko right on the liver. And those are extremely dangerous shots. It's a shot that almost every fighter trains for. Shepenko calm, cool, and collected in the clinch. They're taking some big shots from Carper. Carper looked like he was dictating the action. And just that one short shot from Shepenko. And it may have sent Jeremy Carper into retirement. Tanko comes over to Carper, bows, hugs. See good sportsmanship in other sports, but none better than MMA. Here's Mike Markham. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Scott Howard halts this bout at 1 minute 35 seconds of the opening round due to excessive strikes. Your winner by technical knockout, Maxi and Stepenko. to Jeremy Carper and a hello to Maxime Shepenko. Perfectly accurate, perfectly timed, perfectly weathered storm 